Hey guys, Sire Switch Tracks here, and I'm also going to help you guys learn how to play the violin. So first, make sure you have a violin. So, so here's a violin. G, D, A, E. Um, also, for you beginners, um, you might want to have a shoulder rest. But I don't like using mine because... Uh, because I feel like I don't need it. But for you be guys who are just beginning, you probably should get it so that I can help you with your posture. You also need some rosin so that you can rosin your bow. I was rosining my bow earlier, so it's open right now. And this is what it should look like. But um, the reason it has all those scratches in there is because uh, you have to kind of like crack it so that um, you can rosin your bow. You should also have your bow. Can't even fit on the screen. Oh, I was holding it wrong, but whatever. Okay. Your violin case, of course. And, uh, yeah, this is from my school, guys. Okay. So. Also, you should have this little compartment container right here. There's usually one so that you can put your rosin in it, but I just put mine right here. And, uh, I've filled mine up with all my other strings that I've used before, so you guys should have, like, an extra set of strings just in case, okay? Alright. So that's what you should have for this series. If you're gonna do it. If. If. You should also know how to put it away. So. that you um, don't don't know where everything goes. Well, just look for something that's shaped for it. Like the, my violin looks like it's shaped for there. So you gotta put it right there. My shoulder rest, well, look for a shape that looks like it. And right here looks pretty good. Er, yeah, right there. All right. And usually you should take it apart before you put it away, but mine fits here, so. Look for a shape for your rosin. Also, um, have it closed so that nothing sticks onto it for some reason. Um, you can either put it right there right next to your violin, if you have my type of case, or you could take the glove compartment and put it in there. That's also where you can keep all your other strings, which I didn't want to take out because they're impossible to put away. And, last but not least, you get your bow. Okay, so, what do I do with the bow? There's nowhere that looks like it could be shaped for a bow. But, if you look right here, there's a little slot right there in your violin case. I'm sorry, was that? You guys couldn't see that, could you? But anyways, you just put your bow through there. Then if it's nice and snug, everything's all nice. There, there's usually a washcloth, washcloth that you have, so you, that you can put it right here, so no rosin from the bow drops onto here. And you also got to keep your violin nice and clean, otherwise, um, it might affect how you sound. Then you close it, and then you just lock it up. Oh, not my phone number. I'm not giving you guys my phone number. Okay, so that's how you do it. Ow, my foot. Jeez. Anyways, yeah, that's how you do that. That's the end of this video. Jeez, this is a long video. I'm not sure if I should post this. Whatever, I'll do it anyways. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. Bye!